Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I've decided to take a day trip from Hiroshima and my day trip has brought me here to Muro, a small village southeast of Nara, deep in the hills and almost in Mie prefecture. There is a temple in Muro village, in fact it's called Muroji and I'm planning to pay a visit there later. But to be honest, the reason that I chose Muro as the destination for my day trip is this place, the art forest, which is in the hills above the temple and the village itself. Anyway, I'm going to take a stroll around the art forest. If you fancy a walk with me, you're more than welcome. This spiral leading to the perfectly shaped tree is quite probably the most famous view in the whole of the art forest and if I'm being completely honest this is what I came to see. I'm not disappointed, not at all. Anyway, while I'm strolling around, let me explain a little bit about Muro Art Forest. It's an open-air museum and it was created by the Israeli sculptor Danny Caravan in 2006. I hope I'm saying his name or her name correctly. Apologies if not. Anyway, the art forest was based or is based on an idea by Inoue Bukichi, another sculptor this time, obviously, given the name, Japanese. Here in the art forest, various works by the two artists are located among ponds and artistic landscaping, surrounded by pine trees. It's quite a stunningly beautiful place, actually. The installations demonstrate harmony with nature and art, which is apparently the theme of the museum. Now I wouldn't profess to know enough about art to comment on that statement, but what I do really like is the way that the sharp angles of the installations interact with the surrounding nature. I think there's a very pleasing contrast between the obviously man-made shapes of the installations and the obviously not man-made shapes of the nature. According to what I've read, the whole idea for the art forest was conceived by Inoue Bukichi, who I talked about just now. He was from the village of Muro, but unfortunately he died in 1997. The idea was that the art forest would be a project to attract people to the village of Muro and therefore help to prevent rural depopulation. 
I think it's a good idea, and it certainly seems to have worked. The village itself seems quite busy, especially given how rural it is. But at the same time, it's not overly busy. It's a very pleasant atmosphere. The only thing I would say is that if you're using public transportation, the village of Maror itself is not so easy to get to. And the art forest is even less easy to get to. For me, it only took 90 minutes to get from Hiroshima all the way to Shin Osaka by Shinkansen, but then it took almost another three hours to get from Shin Osaka to the village by train and then by bus. From the bus stop in the village, it was then another 20 minutes on foot to the art forest itself, along a fairly steep village lane. It's certainly not something I would like to do in the heat and humidity of summer. Maybe a shuttle bus from the village to the art forest would make the situation better. But maybe that's not feasible, I don't know. Alright, let's go and take a look at that pyramid thing, for want of a better word, out on the island. One of the things I really like about the art forest, and it's something I didn't realise before I got here, is the fact that you can interact with everything. The whole forest, the whole park, is completely open. It's not like the installations are fenced off or anything. I think that's a really excellent policy to have.
you can both go inside this work and climb to the very top of it. So why not? Let's go and give it a try. So, this is inside. I have to say, it's almost like a cathedral. It's really quite stunning. And these are the steps up the outside of the structure, all the way to the very top. And finally, the amazing view from the top. As a sort of conclusion, I'd say that my journey today, all the way from Hiroshima, has been more than worth it. I'd wanted to visit the art forest here in Muro for several years now, and I'm really glad that I made the decision to come. It's a very, very beautiful place, wonderful, especially with the weather as it is today. What do you think? Have you visited Muraw Art Forest? Please do leave a comment and let me know what you think of the place or what you thought of the place. Anyway, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this wander around the park. If you're in Kansai and you don't mind a bit of a trek, then it's certainly a place I would recommend. Anyway, that's about it for this video, I think, so I will say goodbye. Thank you once again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, as I say, and I hope to see you again in another video very soon. For now, though, goodbye.